My daughter's obsessed with Starbucks. She literally asks if we can go there every single day. So today, this video is for her. We're going to be eating 100 years of the most popular candies, hospital foods, and Starbucks meals. Okay guys, so we are starting off with 100 years of candy, starting with a mystery box from 1930. I actually have no idea what's inside of here. It's gonna have all the most popular candies. From back in the day, I feel bad, but I think I'm gonna have to rip this. Ugh. Okay, you wanna open it up? Oh, okay. So okay. we got some circus peanuts. I'll, let, I'll let you have those. No! We got these things. Oh, we, those are still around mountains. So I didn't know that that was around the 1930s. Oh, some fake candy cigarettes. Hopefully those are candy. Hopefully. I don't know what some of this mystery candy is. Oh, <gasps> a Zagnut bar. So here, how about you have to pick one candy from this box that I have to try, and I get to pick one candy that you get to try. Okay, Deal? Um, Dad, you have to try candy-coated peanuts. Candy-coated peanuts. Boston baked beans. Ew. <laughs> That's <laughs> not bad. I <laughs> hope that these weren't made in the 1930s and that they're like 100 years old now. Best Buy 1931. Oh, we should be good. Okay, here we go. You're a little liar. Oh! It's not bad. It's peanuts. It tastes like a peanut m &M. Okay, I want you to try the circus peanuts. Okay. They're really hard, like... Oh, my braces are gonna break. Is it good? It's good. Like a, it's like it's a, a laffy taffy. But you can hear it's like a rock. All right, should we move on to 1940? 1940. Welcome to the 1940s. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna rip it off, get it going, see what's inside. I don't know what all new candy there's gonna be, but it looks very similar, doesn't it? It's insane. Okay, so the, it has a rock candy, which the other one didn't have. Oh, <gasps> ooh, a zero bar. I know what that is. You know what that is? Yeah. <gasps> Fun dip. Fun dip was in 1940s? Chuckles. Hmm, that's interesting. What in the? Oh, wax lips. <laughs> that's weird. So here, you choose a candy for me, I choose a candy for you. Dad, you're gonna eat these, and you're gonna have to take a bite of half of it. I was just trying to read nope. if it was edible. You have to take a bite half, okay? I don't know if these wax lips are edible. Then why wouldn't they put it in the candy? All right, let's see. <gasps> okay, just eat it already. <sighs> It doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, it doesn't taste bad. I'm just, I'm scared to swallow it because I literally don't want to die. I'm gonna bury it under here. I just don't know if my body's gonna digest that. People in the 1940s did not know about health consequences. Okay, we're gonna do this. I can't have gum. But you can have gum? Yes, you can. Mm -mm. You can have this gum. Look at Mom it. says I can't. Yeah, but I'm your dad. I say you can't. You can have that. Mm. So guys, this. I'm not doing that. This is black licorice bubble gum. Just bite half of it. No, something else. I'll do an entire piece if you just do half of it. And this isn't even my turn. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna do the whole thing. Oh, it tastes like black licorice. If you ever have black licorice, it's so bad. Oh, disgusting. I don't like the 1940s candy. Honestly, candy, back then, so far, is not that good. Okay, okay we're gonna go to the 1950s. I just noticed I do not like black licorice. Okay, guys, we officially made it to the 1950s. I really it was different candy. I'm looking forward to seeing some like, different candy. Okay, here we go, ready? Ooh, that's different, that's a lot different. Oh. I do not like those, those are horrible. I know a lot of these, yeah, we have, what are these guys? These are uh, candy buttons. I've had those. You've had these? Where did you get all, don't think good. Where did you get all this candy from? Candy store? We got a candy necklace, heard about that. Big old Lollipop, Ooh, purple, that guy. Yeah, Lots of different kind of gums in here. This I don't know looks what that interesting. Is. This is called a Chico stick. It could just be a bunch of chickens in there. That'd be kind of sad. Look, you can't whip out like last time. You choose my candy and I choose your candy. It's all candy. It's not like anything's gonna be like disgusting. Okay, you're having these because I don't want to eat those. Satellite wafers. They're oh, very light. Yeah, inside are beans. You guys hear that? Okay, eat it. So I'm gonna put the whole thing in. It's gonna absorb in your mouth. What the heck? That is weird. Yeah, I will say I did not like it, but whatever the outside shell is, it tastes like styrofoam that dissolves in your mouth and then it turns into almost like a tissue paper. But the inside is a candy that wasn't too bad. I think in the 50s, this was like a cool idea. Like, whoa, look, it dissolves in my mouth, but it doesn't taste good. Okay, your turn. Um, let's give you this Chico stick. No, I'm not eating it. You got it? It's a different one. I gave you a good one. You gave me a good one. You just said this was the worst one ever that you weren't gonna eat it. Yeah, well, it's good for you because you liked it. No, you just tried the Chico stick for everybody. No way I'm eating that. Stop being so weird. Eat the Chico stick. No way Who I'm eating that. Who cares if it looks like an orangutan turd? Just eat it. Okay, yeah, thanks for saying that because now I'm definitely not eating crunchy? that. Crunchy, look, it's just a crunchy peanut butter roll. That's all it is. Go ahead, try that Chico stick. Mm -mm. Do it for the people. Okay, so you know who's trying the Chico stick? I'll try the Chico stick. Mm. I was not expecting it to crunch like that. Oh, oh, my whole body's like tingling. Why? Oh, it's actually kind of good. <laughs> okay, let's go on the 1960s. Okay. 
What's well, groovy, guys? It's the 1960s. This is the year of the hippies. Hippie. Here we go. On the counter, we're gonna open this guy. I'm hoping to see some pretty cool new stuff. Three, One, two, two, three. Oh, I see wax oh. lips. I see wax lips. And sweet tarts. Sweet tarts. Again, some candy that I am familiar with. Oh, I know these, but I never tried them. What are these guys? Those look kind of fun. Those are called Zots. Hey, same rules apply. You get to pick any of these candies. I'll try one. I Listen, we're one. only into the 60s, and you would skip like two rounds. You have to eat whatever candy I ask you to eat, okay? These all look good. You can't be saying, my braces, my braces. Okay, you choose. I think I want you to have one All right, here we go with the Zots. Let's go, baby. Okay, so it just looks like an orange, just an orange candy. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh, a little sour. Ooh, the inside has like orange juice. Wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, for you, you're gonna try something, right? Have you ever had Razzlers? Nope. Okay, everybody's gonna try Razzlers. Hmm, interesting. A little. Weird. Go ahead, try one. They look kinda good. It smells good, too. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna try it. It's good. No way. It's really good. Don't swallow it. Why? It turns into bubble gum. Keep, chew it. keep chewing it. Oh, yeah. Is it? This should be gross, guys, right? It's gum. What? That's cool. Okay, Razzlers, my favorite candy yet. Yeah, right. I like it. All right, time to move on. That's yummy. To the 70s. The year's 1970. I'm kind of interested to see some really new crazy candy. Let's see what we got. Oh, whoa, look at that big old boy. Hey, some uh, little bag of gold nuggets. That looks fun, right? A little bag of gold. Oh, you're definitely trying this. Sure, I'm not scared. Pop rocks. Oh, you're definitely trying this. Jelly beans. Oh, I hate jelly beans. Oh, what the heck is this? Can be wow, now that's interesting. It's called a super rope. What are you going to choose for me? Oh, so she picked out the Munch Peanut Bar. It's peanuts, guys. It's peanuts. Tastes like almost all the other peanut butter stuff we've been eating. It's just peanut butters and sugar. Okay, I'm gonna have you try. I think I'm gonna have you try the super rope. Oh, it comes off in little. Hey, stop it! It's mine! Oh. <laughs> oh. Kind of smells like Play Doh. Super rope? More like super poop rope. Oh, it's Twizzlers. Do you like a Twizzler? Mm -hmm. It looks just like a Twizzler. I'm trying to grow it. I'll try this too. No, I'm sure they're good. Again, guys, it's candy. This isn't like it's supposed to be like a bad challenge. It's a bunch of mystery. How does that smell? Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh, is that hot? <laughs> I'm bad on spicy. You should give me these still. Try one, please. Red hot spinal trim. Not too bad. Oh, wow. It is. It's got a kick. <clears throat> it's got a kick. <clears throat> Good. <clears throat> Let's, move. <clears throat> Let's move on to the 80s. <clears throat> One of the 80s. Okay, guys, we made it to the 1980s, and this is actually our last mystery box before we get into the Can I open this one? Yeah. Open yeah, sure. You can open it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? That's it. 1980s gives us. Ooh! Sour gummy worms Ooh. and bubble tape. We all know about that. Yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, these are kind of fun. I've never seen these before. Tart minis. That might be kind of sour. Rain oh, airheads! Who doesn't like some airheads? There Oh, runts. I love runts. It is funny because you really don't see a lot of these candies around it much anymore. Like, I'm familiar with them, but you don't see them around Candies a lot. Cow tails. Mm. Okay, so you pick a candy for me. Oh, I'll yeah. pick a candy for you. Um, I'm going to pick the cow tail. Oh, I would have definitely done cow tail for you. Yeah, this is not a candy I would ever pick out. It looks kind of like, it smells kind of like a long tootsie roll, but it has like a white filling. I guess what it is. It's a lot softer than I thought it was gonna be. Oh. Ew, it looks juicy. Whatever is on the inside is super sweet and kind of dissolves in your mouth. The texture's weird on this guy. I'm not a fan of it. There's a reason you don't see cow tails around. I'm gonna have you try the tart and minis, okay? Here you are. Okay, that's it. Yep, go ahead, pop them all in, fill those puppies in. Candy. They don't taste anything, they're not even sour. They're try. not sour, I see. They're not sour. I did only try one. I tried 17. They're not that sour. They're a little tart. Okay, all right. That's good. Okay, time to head on to the 90s. I want to keep this. Yeah, um, again, just a lot of candy here, but we're heading on to the 90s. Okay, guys, so we made it to the 1990s, and in 1990, there's two number one candies, okay? So I'm not doing like a mystery box with all the candies. There's actually two number one candies. What do you think they were? Um, Hershey's? Nope, not Hershey's. Um, Twix? Nope. The two number one candies in 1990, the decade I was born, were chocolate chip cookie dough bites. Oh. To this day, one of my all time favorite I candies. I love those. And the original no, they weren't. Warheads. Yeah. People love the original Warheads. So these are the original Warheads. Nah. Nowadays, they made them less sour. But I went and I bought an original pack of Warheads that had the original sourness. Who do rock, paper, scissors, and winner gets the cookie dough bites, loser gets the Warhead. Okay. Okay, but if I win, you have to do a Warhead. Okay. You promise? Promise. You promise? On your mama. Mm -hmm. Say say promise on my mama. Promise on my mama. No, no, not like this. Go like promise on my mama. Promise on my mama. Alright, didn't really hear that, but okay. <laughs> Alright, so you choose best out of one or best two out of three? Best out of one. Best out of one. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, shoot! shoot. 
<laughs> okay, no, she's doing. Okay. No! Yep, yep, I saw what you were gonna do. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! <laughs> See, I knew she was gonna do paper, so I did paper with her. Okay, okay, I know what she's gonna do. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Oh! No! <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy my cookie dough bites. <sighs> Alright, go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'll even let you pick your flavor. Okay, watermelon. That's not sour, right? Oh! <laughs> oh, this is a 1990s word. Oh, that's so sour. Okay, we're gonna go on to the 2000s before she vomits. It's right. so sour. Okay, so we made it to the 2000s, which I think everybody might have seen them. I was not expecting this to be the number one candy. You can look it up. The number one candy in 2000s was Harry Potter Beetlebot Jelly Beans. So this was the very first jelly bean, kind of like the Bean Boozle Challenge. You guys all know the Bean Boozle Challenge, the jelly beans that taste weird. Harry Potter first came out with jelly beans that had mystery flavors. There's some interesting flavors in it. There's soap on there. Sausage. There's earthworm. Rot pepper. Okay. Grass. Yeah, there's some bad ones on there. So we're just gonna have to do this. Here you go. So she pulled out a color for me, which looks like it's gray. Okay, five, four. What is gray? Three. What are my options? What does this taste like? It tastes like dish soap. It is soap! Wow. How do they make that? That can't be good for you. But they can put soap in a flavor. Because I gotta pick yours out. Okay. Ugh. I'm trying to smell this. Just no, Dad, hurry up. I'm giving you five seconds. Five, four, three. All right, I swear if you get a good one, y'all show them what color you got. Okay, I got this like one that has like red and and like blue, and, but it's like a pink. It's probably gonna be, it's probably gonna be tutti frutti. Tutti frutti. <sighs> so lame. Of course you got tutti frutti of all the flavors. That's so good. She was covering it up for me. Here, here. Hey, actually, I might try this one. I bet you won't. Go ahead, try it. I bet you won't. It's rotten egg. I think it's rotten egg. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> rotten egg. Okay, that's kind of fun and disgusting. <laughs> That's gross. All right, time to right here. Next one, next you decade. Okay, so we finally made it to the final decade, and what I have right here are the top 10 candies of 2010, 2020, 2024, whatever you want to call it. These are the top 10 candies out right now. Okay, in no particular order, we have Butterfingers, Hershey's Chocolate, Kit Kat, Sour Patch Kids, Starburst, M&M's Regular, Snickers, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, Skittles, and Sour Gummy Worms. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to try and put these in order from one to 10. What you think the most popular candy is, down to number 10. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right? Okay. What do you think the most, and you guys right now watching this video, comment down below what you think is America's most popular candy. Not your, this isn't your favorite. This is what you think America's favorite is. So you do your order and then I'll do the correct order. I think it will surprise you a little bit. Interesting. Okay guys, so Everly's order that she picked out was Starburst, Reese's, Sour Patch Kids, Butterfinger, Snickers, Hershey's, Kit Kat, M&M's. I should have just kept the first thing that you put. Clothes. It was like probably like It might have been accurate. close. It might have been close. But here is America's favorite candy. Number one is a Snickers bar. Can you believe Ew. that? Yeah, I didn't think that, but people love their Snickers to this day. Number two, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Number three, Starburst. Yeah. Number four, plain old Hershey's chocolate. Number five, Sour Patch Kids. Number six, Kit Kat. Number seven, m &Ms. Number eight, Skittle. Number nine, Butterfinger. And 10th. I knew that was 10. You did know that, even though honestly, those might be my favorite. Yeah, so 10. we don't really have to try any of these. That was just kind of a fun game to see what the top 10 candies were to this day. But now you know what it's time for? To head on to 100 years of hospital food. Let's go. Okay, guys, we are officially doing 100 years of hospital food. Are you ready to see your first meal? We're going all the way back to the 1930s with this, okay? So this was a very healthy meal in the 1930s. It is a spinach souffle with crackers and a chocolate chip cookie. Very simple, but very hearty and healthy and lots of minerals and vitamins in the spinach souffle. So make sure you take a big old bite of that and eat it up. And I'm your nurse practitioner, so I will be here until you finish every last bite. There's no way I'm eating that Okay, but you, you, you do need to try a bite of everything. No, I'm not. Yes. No. Look, it's, it's, it smells it's, like it's rotten just eggs. Days. Eggs are a key ingredient in spinach souffle. There's actually only three ingredients. Spinach, skim milk, egg whites. Go ahead, try it. That cookie is very hard. Yeah, it's the 1930s. What do you expect? It's a 100-year-old cookie. Come on, you need to try the spinach souffle. I think I should be surprisingly surprised. Nope. No, no way. Okay, if you take a big old bite of that right now, I'll give you $20. <laughs> One bite of spinach souffle, not for 20 bucks? Look, you have a bite of spinach souffle. That's huge. That's a normal bite. No, I would, that's not a normal bite. That's yes. huge. If that was ice cream, that would be a small bite of ice cream. Okay, I'll take like. That's nothing. There's not even anything on there. Come on. That much. Okay, you'll get 10 bucks if you eat that much. That's literally nothing. 
Okay, that much. For how much money? Like 15. 15 dollars, deal. Okay, I'll add a little bit more. 16. No! Yeah, 15. To... You're not even picking it up. 17. No, this is 20. That is huge. Okay, if you eat that whole bite, I'll give you 20 bucks. Show the camera. And it's just spinach, okay? People eat spinach every day. I really think you're gonna take a bite and you're gonna say that was not that bad. <laughs> it's bad? <laughs> yeah, well, I think on that. Oh. Oh, that's gross. I think on that note, we will go to the 1940s. <laughs> oh, you, 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 oh, no, you I need a you napkin to spit every single spit out. Every single spit out. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, because it's been 10 years since you last ate and you really did not eat much, it is now 1940, and we have for you balsamic rice. That's worse. With salmon. That's salmon on top. And a cup of tangerines. Go ahead, try a bite. Fine. It's good, right? Yeah. It's salmon. Try it with a little bit of the rice. It's just rice. Mm -mm, I don't want to try the rice. That looks disgusting. I'll try a little bit. Again, I think you're going to say it's actually not that bad. It tastes like basil. Yeah. Basil, rice, salmon, tangerines. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. So this one's better than the last one. Yeah? So, so far, 1940 is better than 1930? Definitely. Okay. Are you ready to see what 1950 is? Yeah. All right. Let's go see. All right. I know you got to be hungry because you really have not eaten much. So, I brought you a salad. This is a spinach salad with a side of great tomatoes, cheddar cheese, cucumbers, and you even get a yummy, delicious Italian cherry cookie. That is good. That is good. Not eating that, but I'll get You're not salad. eating the cookie? I love salad. That was a dessert. So while you're making your salad, I want you to rate one through 10, the 1930s, the 1940s, and now the 1950s. One out of 10. What was the first one again? Oh, the yeah. first one was the spinach souffle. The deliciously cooked, perfectly temperature spinach souffle. What do you rate it? One out of 10. One being awful. What do you think? 10 being you want me to go make another right now. Oh. Let's say zero. Zero for 1930. What do you give 1940? Tastes like vomit. Um. That was a salmon in a tangerine. Not bad. Let's do five. Five. Okay. It's getting better. This is 1950s. Like, I've actually eat this before. This. But you should try the cookie. Come on. Like a ten probably. This is an Italian cherry cookie. Mm -hmm. They call them seashell cookies because it kind of looks like a little seashell. No, they do not. You just made that up. Look it up. Try a bite. You gotta try the cookie. Try the cookie. Try, try the cookie. That was a fake bite. I saw the fake bite. Mm, that was super good. She I fake bit it. She liked this and she fake bit it. You're fake eating it towards the camera. I can see you. I can tell you're not eating it. That eating was it. so good. Thank you so okay, much so for that. Okay, so what do you rate meal? this meal? What do you rate this meal? Um, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of food here. Don't worry, guys. Salad, like an eight. That I did not try, so. So an eight. <laughs> guys, don't worry. I am personally going to eat all this leftover food for dinner the next few days, so it's not going to waste. <laughs> all right, we have made it to the 60s. And for your hospital food today, we have a yummy, deliciously prepared by myself green bean casserole. You are like casserole. Nope, you're gonna love this one. We have a cherry cookie and string cheese. Go ahead. String eat cheese it. does eat not it. sound good right now. I'll try this. Cherry cookie, good job. Starting with dessert. I don't know if I want to try this now because now it has cookie on it. Yeah, it's a cookie cheese. That's what they call it back in the day. C cookie cheese. Uh, that makes me not even want to try it more. Good. String cheese, handmade by myself. Tastes like cheese. I even milk the cows. Okay, not you gotta try the main entree. It's good. That's good. <laughs> Real good. <laughs> People eat this stuff all the time. Go ahead. <laughs> Try a bite. No way. What? I'm just bringing you out all the food for you to play with it and not take a bite of it? Oh, that stinks. That smells <laughs> so bad. Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. That cherry cookie was pretty good, okay. but. It does smell kind of bad. bad. That one kind of smells like a pork body. Ooh, yeah. I think we should go to the 70s. Okay, this one I'm actually really excited for you to try. We have a pimento cheese sandwich. Again, guys, remember this is the 70s. And we have cranberry jello. Also, some trail mix. I think that you would like this. I personally like pimento cheese. Oh my God. Yep. There's a lot of people out there who love pimento cheese. Um, you need to try a bite of everything. That's the whole point of this video. Honestly, I don't care if you Best by January 20th. Okay, they might be a little old. This is the 70s, dude. It's the 70s. Things are different back then, all right? Just try the pimento sandwich. No, no, you have to try the food. No! Ed, you haven't tried any food. No. You haven't tried any food. Take a bite of the sandwich. I'll have the bread. No, you need to get the pimento cheese. Look, I don't. There's pimento no. cheese on look, it. Look, look, pick it up and take a bite. If you take a big bite of the pimento cheese, I'll give you 20 more dollars. How much do I have right now? 20? 20 dollars. <laughs> Why am I paying her to eat normal food? It is not normal food. You gave me spinach you need eat sablon. Spinach souffle. You need, you need a bite of that, and then you had to take a bite of the cranberry jelly. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> taking a bite of that. That is not going in my body. Here you go. You can take a bite. I will take a bite. No way you're taking a bite of that. Yes, pimento cheese sandwich down the hatch. Mmm. It is good. It tastes kind of like a grilled cheese. Listen, I'll give you 20 bucks if you have this bite of the cranberry gelatin. Oh! The whole thing, whole thing. She did it. Oh! And I lied, it's not cranberry jello. Mm. <laughs> Do me tell you what it really is? What? Chicken toes. Mm. Nope, 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 nope. Oh my gosh. That's disgusting. 
All right, we made it to the 80s, and honestly, guys, this and food- And I still have the cranberry things in my teeth. All right, you didn't even eat it, you spit it out. So we got, what we have is we have a Salisbury steak with some broccoli, an apple, and a chocolate chip cookie. Very simple. I will be proud of you if you just have a little bite of everything here. She took a bite of the broccoli. Let's give it up to her. How's the broccoli? One out of 10. Good, see? Actually, it's like five. Five, it's medium. Honestly, I'm not a big broccoli guy, but try I the Salisbury a steak. The, I guarantee girl. that Salisbury steak is gonna be good. Whoa, it's hard. It might be a little overcooked. It's probably gonna taste like a burger, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, that was scary. Hey, I'm just proud of her for trying it this time. It took everybody all the way from the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, I can't have an 70s. apple. I can't bite into it. For real? I have to have cut up apples. Oh my goodness. Guys, braces just kind of ruin your life, don't they? I'm getting them often. Okay, so what do you rate this one? Oh, and what do you rate the last one? You didn't rate the last one either. Um, what do you give the 70s? The pimento, I wrote, ra rate. rate it. Um, yeah, I rate yeah. it like a two. Two, pretty good. Okay, and what do you rate this one out of 10? That's a normal, like a seven. Seven, cool. I just don't really like the broccoli. Okay, I think the next one's gonna be good because we're headed to the 90s. Okay, 1990, we have a lemon pepper chicken. We have some ravioli, which you love. And we have a coconut crunch cookie. I feel like for hospital food, this is really good. I got a special recipe actually out of a hospital out of San San Francisco. Do you feel like throughout the years it's been getting better or worse? Better, worse, better, worse, better, worse, better, worse. So last last this 10 is worse. years was better. So you think this one's worse? Pimento and this are bad. But you haven't even tried any of it yet. So no. how, how can you say it's bad you haven't tried it? Because I don't like it. But you're not even trying it yet. Well, I'm about to. If I can get this on the floor. There you go, she got the floor. Why are you taking the tiniest baby bites I've ever seen in my life? Because I'm a tiny eater. She's not a tiny eater. Off camera, guys, everyone like, eats like, a, like an animal, like a lion. <laughs> How is it? Yeah, it's not bad, is it? That tastes good, but I don't know about I'm just encouraging her that. If you actually try things, guys, guys, this is good advice for anybody. If you try new things and you don't always go into it thinking it's gonna be bad, you might be surprised. Five bucks like for this. Five bucks to eat lemon chicken? Ah, lemon chicken. Why is she trying to wager me? You've already gotten 40 bucks. This one's not even gross. I'm just trying to get it. Bye. Yeah, it's not gross. It's a lemon chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that is a coconut cookie. can't bite. It is a little crunchy. Oh, there you go. It's like coconut. coconut. Okay, so what do you rate this meal one out of 10? For the next decade, it's 2000, mm. which isn't too far back. I don't know, maybe we'll have a seven and a half. Seven and a half, okay, that's pretty good. Time to head to the year 2000. Congratulations, you somehow miraculously made it to the year 2000 without eating much to any food. But for your 2000s hospital meal, we have some um, orange chicken on white rice. We have a cupcake cookie. We have a mango wedge cookie. And we also have some string cheese. Why did you have to add the string cheese? You gotta get the protein in. Yeah. Cheese has a lot of health benefits. Tastes like orange chicken. Pretty good, right? The white rice, okay. she's eating it. That's a good sign. The cupcake chocolate chip cookie sprinkle. Good. Good. The mango wedge cookie. Yeah, it's a little wedgy. <laughs> I said it was a wedge. Yep, <laughs> yep, you got it. There you go. Those darn braces, I tell you what. <laughs> Is it good? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And the cheese, we all know how string cheese is. Okay, so what do you rate this meal? You actually ate it all. Wow, good job. What do you rate it? One out of 10. She took a bite very easily. I didn't have to give her any money or anything. She just ate it like a normal human being. One out of ten. What do you rate this? Um, tastes good. A nine. Nine. Wow. So the year two thousand is your favorite so far. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. We saw the two thousand tens and the two thousand twenties. So last two. Okay. The year is two thousand ten. Everybody's almost born. She was born in two thousand twelve. And we have a delicious hospital meal for you that's sliding all over the tray. Are you ready for me to tell you what you got? You have got a snack box with cucumbers, carrots, cherry tomatoes, and hummus. You have got a chicken salad sandwich, and then you have a bowl of tuna salad. Oh. Damn. That sounds great to me. You know the health benefits that are on your plate right now. I don't care about the health benefits. We should. Go ahead. I love cucumbers. She loves cucumbers. Mm. Good. Yummy. Yep, I grew those cucumbers and carrots right in my mm. garden that I have. Where's your garden located? I'd love to visit it. It's uh, on the farm. Mm. Where's the farm located? Out, out in the country. Out in the countryside. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know if I want to try it. You're gonna like your chicken salad sandwich. It's really good. Is that bread nice and soft? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good bread. It's good chicken salad. I think you'd be very surprised. Watch, well, you took a bite. Good, right? Yeah. Tuna salad. You're not gonna try the tuna salad. Mm -mm. No, that was the best part. It's a big old tub of tuna salad. Mm -hmm. What people do I eat it with? People go crazy for that. You can dip your carrots in it. It's almost like a hummus. Nah. No, you gotta pass. Okay, well, what do you rate this meal one out of 10? Mm, I like that and I like that, but I don't love that. So would you eat the skin? Yeah. Yeah, what do you rate it? Um, I'm, I'm jotting all this information in. Down I'm not, because mom needs to pass these in my lunches. Yes. All right, we're off to our last and final hospital meal. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Okay, so our last and final meal for our patient, Everly, is the year 2020. We made it all the way through 10 decades. That's one century of hospital food. And what we have is we have spaghetti and meatballs. Very simple, very delicious. And a sausage quiche. Handmade by your, um, myself. Okay, go ahead. Okay. You need to try it, get some protein in your system because we have a very important place that we are heading to next. It rhymes with bar stucks. Starbucks? Maybe so, I'm not gonna give anything away. But first you gotta try your hospital spaghetti and meatballs. Okay. 
Wow, so I guess she's doing a lot better. She started off rough, right? We can all admit the first four or five decades. That's good. Was tough. I don't know if I want to try this though, because that looks Come really on. bad. Come on, end it on a good note. End it on a strong note. I think you'll be like, hey, that was not that bad. Okay. Wow, look at her. What a champ. Fine. So what do you rate it? What do you rate your 22 hospital food? Zero. 2020. Zero. Zero? Where are you going? I need to spit out that sausage. Are you get out of here? This is actually so bad. Oh, she's probably headed to Bar Stucks. I mean, Starbucks. That's where we're headed to next. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys. So we have officially made it to 100 years of Starbucks, and we are in our makeshift Starbucks coffee shop. It's actually our basement with a backdrop. But this is gonna work because we are doing 100 years of Starbucks coffee. So Starbucks came out in 1971. So I won't be able to go all the way back to the 1900s, but we'll do every five years from 1971. Sound good? So in 1971, the most popular coffee was a plain black coffee. So for each five years, I'm gonna be bringing everybody out their most popular drink and also the most popular pastry item. So this pastry item is not on the menu anymore, but this is an Italian chocolate dipped cannoli. Okay, you gotta know how it is. cannolis are. Yep, I'm actually kinda jealous. <laughs> Looks pretty good. It does look good. Okay, I'm gonna drink the coffee first. Uh, this might be everybody's actually first sip of just plain black coffee. Just tastes like mommy's coffee, kind of. Yeah, I mean, mom puts a lot more cream and sugar than that, but it's good. It's again, nothing of, special about it. Guys, the drinks actually strong. get a lot more fun. I'll, I'll surprise by a lot of the drinks, okay? Gee. But the cannoli's where it's at. Wait, should I do that side or that side? I'd probably do the chocolate dip side. Oh, it's kind of crunchy. Mm -mm. No? Oh, no, I said, oh, oh. Oh, is it good? Should Starbucks add this to their menu? Mm -hmm. I wonder why they took it off. I'm curious why like they add things and take it away. Like I feel like they, if they brought this back, people would love it. Good? That's well, so good. Okay, so one out of 10, what do you rate this? I'm gonna have you rate each one one out of 10. Well, I rate this different than that. What do you rate the cannoli? Um, I don't know if I love the texture of it when I eat it, but it does taste good. I think I like um seven, yeah, seven. Seven, and the drink? And then this is like a five. Seven to five? All right, okay, let's move on to 1975. That was really good. Okay, in 1975, the most popular coffee what? drink was <laughs> a black coffee with some cream, yes. they, they added cream to it, and a fruit pie. This looks interesting, so. Okay, what? Wow. Yeah, I'm getting these I'm, things. You wanna try your drink first, maybe? Yeah, okay. Again, it's just a sip of coffee, it's totally fine. This tastes just like mom's. Does it? I like mom's well, well, there's no sugar in it, though. It's just, it's, I don't taste, I don't feel like it. It's probably still not that good. The most popular drink I was like just it. coffee and cream, no sugar. I you like, like it? it? Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. I give that like a nine. Wow, because I don't like it, okay. Okay, let me taste this. So there's a few different pieces of fruit in here. There's strawberries, <laughs> kiwi, and tangerine, but you, <laughs> Is it hard? <laughs> I might have overbaked it. Oh, wait. Oh, there's oh. filling inside. Yes, yes, surprise for you. Okay. Uh, not for me, because I made it. There's chocolate on the bottom. That's pretty good. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Thoughts? It's better than the cannoli. It is? Okay, so what do you rate the coffee? What do you rate the pastry? A nine and a nine. Nine and nine? Wow, that's pretty hard to beat. 1975? That, that's where it's at. really good. I feel like you can have that in like summer. Okay, we're headed to 1980. Here we go. Whoa! Okay, before 1980, Starbucks only had coffee, but in 1980, they introduced their very first non-coffee drink, which was the Blue Bomb. I tried making it as closely as the ingredients said, and they followed it with a that pastry that good. was the Chocolate Bomb. That looks good. Yeah, the good. Blue Bomb and the Chocolate Bomb. They both look good. They do look good. Okay, let me... Mmm, that's good. I like that. What's it taste like? Mm. It tastes like one of those like ices, kind of. A blueberry ice. Mm. I love blueberry ice. Yes, let's dig in. Okay, and I think there's gonna be a surprise whenever you dig into it. <gasps> It's strawberry. I'm gonna dig even more so they can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whoa, it's like half chocolate, half strawberry. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying some. You guys see that? Half chocolate, half strawberry in that bad boy? Wow. With sprinkles on the side, chocolate coating, just perfectly manicured into the ultimate pastry. Like, this isn't even a pastry. This is just a, a dessert cake. Nothing healthy about this. And Everly is in pastry heaven. What do you think? So good. Mm -hmm. 11. I'm gonna actually need a bite of that one. Oh my God, that's amazing. Mm. Okay, so what do you rate the drink? What do you rate the pastry? Mm, the drink is maybe like a seven. Mm. And then that is like 10 plus. So best pastry, oh, mediocre so drink. Oh, so good. All right, well, you guys heard it here. 1980 is where it's at, but next, 1985. All right, 1985. Because the blue bomb was such a success, they followed it up with the purple bomb. You can kind of see that it's like light purple on the bottom and dark purple on the top. I think it's because it like, wait, what? Okay, that looks cool. Yeah, and then the pastry is a lemon bar. I love lemon bars! Some form, but they were like really Italian back then. Like a lot of the pastries were like Italian design. So it has like an Italian twist we on it. We love the sticker. Oh, yep. You can see it still has a Starbucks sticker on it. <laughs> Look at that. All right, try the drink. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Doesn't seem like she loves it. It smells interesting. Kind of tastes like medicine. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, it has powdered sugar. Ready? Mm-hmm. Tastes like lemon. A lemon bar is pretty simple. Yeah. 1985, people were with simple. That's a no. Then. Like, I don't like that that much. No to the purple bomb. Maybe like a three. Wow. This is like a 
1985. Wow, okay, so 1985 is so far your least favorite year. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, let's go ahead and move on to 1990. All right, welcome to 1990, where <sighs> Starbucks introduced cake and a cup. Mmm, how's that look? I love cake! And they also introduced their matcha, mm -hmm. which is a green matcha. I get matchas, but I put like stuff in it, not just a plain matcha, so let's try it. It always starts off plain, and then as the years go on, they add things. Hey, it's actually really good. Good matcha. Mm -hmm. I made it. So this is like cake dip? It is cake. With, That's exactly what it is. With frosting. Yep, you guys get a good view of that. It is just cake. It's got some frosting on the top, some sprinkles. Give me that, 10. I mean, if you've had cake, it's just cake inside of a cup. So you could like eat it to go, which is kind of fun. 10. Oh, 10. Ten. And seven. 10 and seven. All right, we're headed to 1995. Okay, we are officially in 1995, where the most popular pastry was a caramelized fluffy cinnamon roll and paradise palm drink. So that looks pretty good. It looks a little chunky, so hopefully, um, Ew. hopefully. Stop grossing okay. me out. I go ahead. This bad boy, I mean, that is big. That looks beautiful. Yeah, that is just beautiful. Like 10 out of 10. Yep, I get these at Starbucks, so. They might still have that, actually. I like it. Because we're officially in 1995, some of these items aren't, like, totally ancient anymore. Yeah, it's just a little bit too pineapple-y. Pineapple-y, paradise yeah. you know. Yeah, okay, cinnamon roll. Oh, what do I rate it? Mm -hmm. An eight. Okay, it's pretty high. cinnamon roll time, which I'm very excited about. I don't have this bite. It's a big cinnamon roll. Whoa! Okay, wow, that's a great bite. This is good. I gotta try that thing. Oh, it's so fluffy and light. <laughs> mm. Oh my, that's okay. Mm. That is a mm. 10 plus. Mm. A fluffy caramel. Mm. So is that the best pastry yet? Uh -huh. I can't imagine a pastry being better than that. All right, time to head to 2000. That's so good. All right, the year 2000 is where people really started caring about sugar-free stuff. So the drink is a sugar-free vanilla latte. Honestly, exactly what Savannah gets. And the pastry, the most popular, was a crunchy lemon zest. Doesn't that look fun? Uh -huh. People really like their lemon stuff. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna try the first. It should taste very similar to what mom gets. Too sugary. Too sugary? That's so sugary. That's way too sweet. Okay. I just say it was crunchy. It looks a little bland. I like it. You like it? Try some. It's definitely not better than the lemon bar, but that's still good. It's not super lemony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I both rate them like, that actually is gonna be lower. Kind of a boring year, honestly. Yeah, I don't like that year at all. Kind of a boring year. Okay, we're just gonna move on to 2005. Yeah, hopefully it's better. The year is 2005, and I can't believe it, but Everly was still not born yet. So here is the mystery pastry that I'll let you open up, and the drink, it was a lemonade refresher. Okay. So this is where they introduced lemonade, and people loved it. Okay. Even though lemonade's been around for hundreds of years, Starbucks just made it better. Ugh. No? Mm -mm. No? Not about it? It's like sour. Maybe I added too much sour in it. Okay, Ugh. now time to figure out what the mystery pastry was in 2005. Probably a muffin. Oh, mm. right. You know what kind of muffin though? It's a pumpkin? So this is actually a carrot raisin nut muffin. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, it, it might be really good. It does, I know it doesn't sound the most appetizing, but I'm actually interested in what it tastes like. It tastes like pumpkin. Pumpkin? I think you're thinking it's pumpkin. It's like placebo effect. I definitely want to try it, but it is softer than It's not too good. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little plain. It's fun. I would eat it like for like breakfast. Yeah, it's, it's a little like, plain. What do you rate it? Um, it's almost I like- I rate that like a two. It's honestly. almost like Starbucks That's is getting so worse. sour, like I can't even enjoy it. That's probably like- Three. Three. So honestly, the past couple years have not been too good. The old school Starbucks was the best, but well, we're heading into 2010, numbers. and Everly was born in what, 2012? So you 2012. still weren't born yet. What? What? The year is 2010, where the most popular drink was a strawberry refresher. I love that. And the food was a cookies and cream. I love cookies and cream! Crunch cube. Love it, great. Nothing like a good Let's strawberry like coffee a, refresher. I think it's like an eight and a half. Okay. Let's try the cookies and cream crunch cube. Yum, I like the bottom part a lot. But I love this, this is great. Okay, what do you rate it? A 10. 10 on this, mm -hmm. eight and a half on this. Mm -hmm. So 2010 made a comeback. And because we're not coming all the way up to present day, we're only going back to 2015, which believe it or not, is almost 10 years ago. This is gonna be our last year. Are you ready for 2015? Yeah. And you were born in 2015. You're only three years old, so you won't remember any of this, but you were born. Okay. <laughs> all right, for the final year no, is 2015. Well, just because I wanted to be surprised. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. It's 2015, everyone was three years old. Surprisingly, this was almost 10 years ago. Ooh, this is and yummy. And the most popular drink I don't remember mommy drinking this when I was little. Yes, well this is a, just a sugar-free vanilla latte but with whipped cream on top. Yummy. So you might not like it because it's very similar to the last one, but people liked whipped cream in 2015. It's good. It's better. I mean, the snack is not that exciting. It was just a Starbucks bag of chips. Yeah. I didn't want to bring it out now, you'd be disappointed right away. <laughs> but hey, it's potato chips. Who doesn't like potato chips? You kidding me? So go ahead, maybe, maybe they're really good. It's probably good to have something salty after all that sweet. Mm. Really good. That's really good. Okay, well, what do you rate it? I rate that like an eight, and these are 10. Wow. Okay, so 2015 made a comeback. All right, well, hey guys, if you guys enjoyed this 100 years video, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Comment down below which 100 years video we should make next, and subscribe right now if you aren't subscribed so you can help us hit 1 million subscribers before summer. Thank you guys. See you next video. Peace out. Bye.